Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Rafael Guerrero starts with Thomas Meunier as fullbacks. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And the starting lineup for Juventus. Wojciech Szczesny between the posts. Vinny Orban plays alongside Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. Filip Kostic plays with Juan Cuadrado in the wide positions. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Di Maria. Chance for Di Maria. Well, he didn't miss by an awful lot. His finishing is so calm and composed, which added to his skill makes him a top-class striker. He'll certainly be hard to stop today. Could be! Oh, off the post, so near. And Bellingham. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. Well, nothing between the teams over the two legs. Can they take advantage here? Well, they haven't created too much lately, but the fans know this is a chance to take the lead here. Fired over by Guerrero. Well, it wasn't a great header, in all fairness. And a goal kick it is. Juventus, the old lady, they know how to keep the ball. What can they do from here? Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Oh, he's through here. It has to be, surely. Oh, a goal! And one that could really matter in their quest to make it through. Here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. And there it is, the final whistle. Victory over the two legs for Borussia Dortmund. Well, I thought they fully deserved their win because over the two legs, they were more fluent with their passing, had a more structured game plan and created the better opportunities. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer and Stewart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, he obviously scored the winning goal, but it was his overall performance that impressed me most. He was on fire today.